the golden age of cinema wasn't just about silver screens and enchanting tales. It was an era of passion, temptation, and scandalous secrets. These iconic leading ladies were more than just stars. They were audacious seductresses, captivating hearts both on and off the screen. From Vivian Lee to Elizabeth Taylor, these legendary divas blurred the lines between on-screen drama and their real-life romantic entanglements. Here are 25 naughty classic Hollywood divas who slept with anyone. Number 25. Elizabeth Taylor Elizabeth Taylor, known for her distinctive beauty and captivating acting abilities, gained a reputation as one of Hollywood's most famous actresses. However, her notoriety peaked when she engaged in a romantic relationship with singer Eddie Fisher, who happened to be married to her close friend Debbie Reynolds at the time. Despite the scandal, Taylor and Fisher eventually married, but later divorced. In time, Taylor offered an apology to Reynolds, leading to their reconciliation and the restoration of their friendship. Throughout her lifetime, Taylor entered into matrimony on seven separate occasions, with her true love and fellow actor Richard Burton being her spouse on two occasions. Following her final divorce from construction worker Larry Fortensky in 1996, it appeared that Taylor had grown disillusioned with men and chose to remain single until her passing in 2011. Number 24. Vivian Lee. Vivian Lee, known for her remarkable portrayals of Scarlett O'Hara and Blanche Dubois, was admired for her intense acting talent and beauty. However, her path to success and her tumultuous marriage to Sir Laurence Olivier were marked by difficulties and questionable ethics. In a documentary about her life, it was revealed that Lee's unwavering ambition led her to declare Olivier as the man she would marry, despite already being married herself. She was willing to discard people along the way until she achieved her desired goals. Olivier was also married to actress Jill Esmond, but that didn't deter Lee from pursuing him while they were all in Capri. Despite the fact that Esmond was pregnant, Olivier ended his relationship with her and married Lee. Number 23. Tallulah Bankhead Tallulah Bankhead was an incredibly attractive and charismatic woman who fearlessly spoke her mind. She was widely admired as a symbol of sexuality during her time, and her alluring voice was often described as incredibly seductive. Bankhead was known for her numerous sexual relationships. Additionally, Bankhead proudly identified as bisexual at a time when society was less accepting of diverse sexual orientations. According to The New Yorker, Bankhead claimed to have been sexually involved with around 500 individuals throughout her life. In addition to her relationships with male stars, she also had romantic connections with prominent female celebrities, such as Greta Garbo, Patty McDaniel, Beatrice Lilly, and Marlena Dietrich. Number 22. Jane Mansfield Jane Mansfield, often mentioned alongside Mae West, is widely recognized for her association with provocative and glamorous lifestyles, making her one of the most notorious actresses in Hollywood history. Who could forget that moment when Sophia Loren glanced at Mansfield's revealing cleavage? Mansfield, a stunning blonde bombshell, had numerous lovers and indulged in passionate encounters. There were even rumors of her being involved with JFK. However, her most infamous association was with Anton LaVey, the founder of the Church of Satan. Number 21. Clara Bow. Clara Bow, the it girl of silent films, left a lasting legacy as one of cinema's earliest and most scandalous starlets. Retiring at a mere 28 years old in 1931, she was embroiled in a web of controversies. Despite many of these scandals arising from her fervent belief in old-fashioned romance, Bo treated her relationships with boyfriends as, quote, engagements, resulting in a series of quick engagements and breakups with the likes of Gary Cooper and director Victor Fleming. In addition to these romantic entanglements, Bo faced other scandals, including the notorious accusation of sleeping with the entire USC football team. Clara Bow's life was a whirlwind of scandal and intrigue, contributing to her enduring status as a captivating and legendary figure in Hollywood history. Number 20. Louise Brooks Louise Brooks had a remarkably brief but impactful career in the film industry. 
She strongly disliked Hollywood and instead sought to create a personal sanctuary centered around, quote, sex, books, and gin, as eloquently expressed in an article by Pop Matters. Despite her distaste for the industry, Brooks enjoyed indulging in pleasures and excitement. She ended her first marriage with director Eddie Sutherland when she fell in love with George Preston Marshall, the owner of the Washington Redskins. However, she eventually left Marshall to marry someone else, only to abandon that marriage within a mere six months. Brooks had numerous lovers, including a one-night encounter with Greta Garbo, and frequently posed nude. It was all short-lived, though. Brooks' life in film was over by the time she was 26. Number 19. Lupe Velez Despite achieving considerable professional success throughout her career, the actress known as the, quote, Mexican Spitfire, Lupe Velez, experienced a tumultuous personal life. She engaged in a series of affairs with several prominent figures from Hollywood's golden age, including Clark Gable, Charlie Chaplin, Errol Flynn, and Gary Cooper. Velez was known for her possessive nature as a lover. Upon discovering Gable's affair with Marlena Dietrich, she even went so far as to threaten violence, expressing her desire to rip out Dietrich's eyes if given the opportunity. She was just as fiercely protective of her career as she was of her relationships. Her intimidating presence caused fear among other actresses as well. In her mid-30s, amidst rumors of being pregnant with a married man's child, Velez tragically ended her own life by overdosing on sleeping pills. Number 18. Diana Doors Diana Doors, the British cult actress, gained notoriety through her extravagant mansion, flamboyant indulgence, and scandalous parties. Throughout her life, Doors was married three times, had numerous lovers, and even earned the label of, quote, a wayward hussy from the Archbishop of Canterbury. Her fame extended beyond her appearances in low-budget films, as she also engaged in the practice of filming people engaging in sexual activities within her residence. Number 17. Jean Tierney a prominent actress in the 1940s, Jean Tierney had a series of high-profile affairs throughout her life, making her resemble a, quote, sexual Forrest Gump. She was rumored to have been involved with John F. Kennedy, Howard Hughes, and actor Tyrone Power. Her first marriage was to fashion designer Ole Cassini, followed by her union with oil man W. Howard Lee shortly after his divorce from actress Hedy Lamarr. Although Tierney continued acting in the 1960s and 1970s, her career never regained its previous level of success. Number 16. Elizabeth Taylor Liz Taylor's personal life was filled with turmoil, as evidenced by her string of eight marriages. While most of her relationships ended in disaster, Taylor seemed unstoppable, always rebounding with something even more chaotic. Her first marriage to Conrad Hilton, who later gained fame on Mad Men, was marred by excessive gambling, drinking, and abusive behavior. The fourth marriage began when Eddie Fisher, then married to Debbie Reynolds, comforted Taylor after the death of her third husband. Taylor's famous and troubled relationship with Richard Burton ended in two messy divorces, after two failed attempts to keep it together. Despite Taylor's naturally fragile health and a long-standing addiction to painkillers and sleeping pills, she remarkably lived nearly 80 years. Number 15. Rita Hayworth Unlike many leading ladies, Hayworth was naturally shy and kept her personal life hidden. Her struggles with alcoholism and being with controlling partners made her home life difficult. Her marriages often ended in fights and long legal battles. She would move on to new relationships while still dealing with the aftermath of previous separations. As a result of stress and alcohol, Hayworth aged prematurely, and she also suffered from early-onset Alzheimer's, which affected her memory. In her 50s, she couldn't even remember her lines, and she spent her final days in a New York apartment with fading memory and dwindling finances. Number 14. Marilyn Monroe Marilyn Monroe, a timeless sex symbol, set a unique standard for Hollywood's sensuality and unpredictable behavior that remains unmatched even today. She was not only romantically involved with fellow actors, but also had relationships with influential figures from various fields. Her turbulent love affairs with Joe DiMaggio, John F. Kennedy, and Arthur Miller are well known. 
While Jackie Kennedy chose to ignore many of JFK's infidelities, the attention drawn to Monroe's high-profile affair with the president became too overwhelming. According to many accounts, Kennedy's rejection contributed to Monroe's downward spiral, ultimately leading to her untimely death. Number 13. Barbara Lamar Barbara, who got married for the first time at the age of 17, went on to marry a total of five times. Interestingly, her first marriage followed her first encounter with the law when she was arrested for performing burlesque at just 14 years old. Lamar was a prominent figure in Hollywood's club scene during her brief life, and she had connections with various men, ranging from dancer Robert Hobday to Arizona rancher Jack Lytell. However, the string of relationships alone didn't satisfy Lamar's appetite for excitement. It is reported that she only slept two hours per night and battled a heroin addiction throughout her adult life. Unfortunately, Lamar's wild lifestyle caught up with her quickly. She passed away at the age of 29. Number 12. Jean Harlow Jean Harlow, a prominent blonde bombshell in the early days of sound films, had a scandalous reputation from a young age. She married an older man at 16 and posed nude at 17, causing quite a stir. At the age of 21, Harlow's 43-year-old husband was discovered dead with a bullet through his head, drenched in her perfume. Harlow was cleared of any involvement in the incident, and surprisingly, her fame only increased after her husband's death. Some even credit her with helping MGM stay afloat during the Great Depression. Number 11. Raquel Welch Raquel Welch's life was a captivating tapestry of romance and mystery. From marrying her high school sweetheart, James Welch, in 1959 and having two children, to their separation in 1962 and divorce in 1964, her journey was filled with twists. Retaining Welch's surname added an enigmatic touch. The marriage to publicist Patrick Curtis in 1967 ended in divorce in 1972, amid accusations of an abortion. Rumors of an affair with Spanish actor Sancho Gracia during the filming of 100 Rifles swirled, igniting a dramatic hotel chase. Relationships with Joe Namath, Robert Evans, and Freddie Prinze added intrigue. Marrying producer Andre Weinfield in 1980, they divorced in 1990. Dating Gary Stretch in 1996, Raquel married Richie Palmer in 1999, before their separation in 2003. Her last recorded romance was with Nigel Lithgow in the early to mid-2010s. Raquel Welch's captivating love affairs left an indelible mark on her storied life. Number 10. Linda Darnell Linda Darnell, a successful actress in the 1940s, experienced a downfall after attempting to change her image. As she tried to transition to a more sexually provocative image, her life took a turn for the worse. During her reinvention phase, Darnell's business manager embezzled her savings, leaving her in financial ruin. This triggered a dark period in her life marked by alcoholism and three unsuccessful marriages. Despite being considered one of Hollywood's most eligible bachelorettes when she wasn't married, Darnell was rumored to have been romantically involved with numerous men, including Howard Hughes and Joseph L. Mankiewicz. Number 9. Joan Crawford Joan Crawford was a determined and ambitious actress. She was known for using her charm and relationships with influential men, such as Douglas Fairbanks Jr., Clark Gable, and Spencer Tracy, to secure better roles and opportunities. However, Crawford's fame was overshadowed by a less glamorous period in her life. In 1978, her adopted daughter Christina wrote a book called Mommy Dearest, portraying Crawford as a vicious and abusive alcoholic. The book revealed shocking details. As Crawford aged, her fame declined and she struggled to maintain relevance in the industry. Despite numerous attempts to stay in the spotlight and her tumultuous personal life, she ultimately ended up living in a small New York apartment, referring to herself as, quote, an ex-movie star. Number 8. Ava Gardner Frank Sinatra, known as Old Blue Eyes, was captivated by Ava Gardner's charm, but he wasn't the only man who fell under her spell. In the early 1940s, she had a brief marriage with actor Mickey Rooney. Although Rooney boasted about their passionate love life, Gardner contradicted him by stating that while he may have enjoyed it, she did not. 
Gardner also had notable relationships with millionaire Howard Hughes and the jazz musician Artie Shaw before eventually marrying Sinatra in 1951. She even had an affair with the renowned writer Ernest Hemingway while they were in Cuba. It is impossible to accurately count the number of men Gardner had, as the ones mentioned are just a fraction of her many conquests. Number 7. Mae West Another noteworthy blonde beauty is actress Mae West. During the early 1930s, she made a significant impact in Hollywood with her intentionally rebellious persona, becoming one of the iconic stars of classic Hollywood. She was a woman who was ahead of her time, advocating for gay rights, engaging in relationships with African-American partners, and openly mocking the traditional institution of marriage. At the age of 17, West tied the knot with Frank Wallace. She attempted to keep their marriage a secret, but it became public knowledge when a filing clerk stumbled upon their marriage certificate and promptly alerted the press. West eventually divorced Wallace in 1942. Although Wallace was her only legal spouse, West gained notoriety for her numerous affairs. Among her most famous lovers was Paul Novak, whom she claimed to be the love of her life. Number 6. Grace Kelly Grace Kelly, known for her elegance and poise, became a princess when she married Prince Renier III of Monaco in 1956. Despite appearing in only 11 films, she remains a tireless symbol of sophistication from Hollywood's golden age. However, before her royal union, Grace embraced a more carefree lifestyle. Her romantic escapades began during the filming of High Noon, alongside Gary Cooper, who was married and significantly older. This pattern continued during the production of Mogambo, where she had an affair with another older star, Clark Gable. Grace's list of flings and affairs included Bing Crosby, Marlon Brando, Ray Milan, Ole Cassini, and even Prince Ali Khan, a prominent royal. Eventually, she found love and settled down with Prince Renier, but not before enjoying a thrilling series of romances. Number 5. Greta Garbo Greta Garbo, a prominent early Hollywood star, was known for her free-spirited nature and diverse companionship. She engaged in relationships with individuals of different sexual orientations, disregarding their marital status. Despite being private about her romantic affairs, Hollywood gossip constantly surrounded her, although many rumors remain unconfirmed. Speculation suggests she may have had an affair with Josephine Baker, but neither confirmed it. Garbo maintained lifelong friendships with women like Louise Brooks, who mentioned their affair in her autobiography. She also had relationships with men such as Johnny Weissmuller, the famous Tarzan actor, as confirmed in his autobiography. Additionally, she had a romance with Charles Adams, the creator of The Adams Family. While Garbo never married, she embraced a fulfilling life of diverse connections. Number 4. Katherine Hepburn During her childhood, it is said that Hepburn shaved her head and adopted the name Jimmy. As she rose to become a globally renowned Hollywood superstar, she maintained her preference for masculine clothing. Hepburn frequently wore trousers, a choice that was considered scandalous and unacceptable by conservative society at the time. Interestingly, her only husband, Ogden Ludlow Smith, was also bisexual, and there are indications that her well-known affair with Howard Hughes may have been a mere publicity stunt. Hepburn has been linked to various alleged lovers, including Irene Meyer Selznick, Laura Harding, Jane Loring, Billy Burke, Judy Hollywood, and Alyssa Landy. Number 3. Marlena Dietrich Dietrich, a Hollywood actress who thrived from the 1910s to the 1980s, had an incredibly prolific career spanning eight decades. She meticulously cultivated her professional image while keeping her personal life as private as possible. In the 1920s, Dietrich embraced her bisexuality and frequented gay bars and drag balls in Berlin, challenging societal norms before the term gender bender even existed. She fearlessly pursued relationships with whomever she desired, captivating both women with her masculinity and men with her irresistible sensuality. Upon relocating to the United States and achieving immense stardom, she engaged in affairs with numerous individuals, including Greta Garbo, Mercedes de Acosta, Tallulah Bankhead, Edith Piaf, and Claudette Colbert. Number 2. 
Dorothy Arzner. In her time, Arzner stood out as the sole female director in the bustling film industry of Tinseltown. Over a span of 24 years, she directed nearly 20 films and achieved the notable distinction of being the first woman to become a member of the Directors Guild Association. In her personal life, Arzner spent four decades residing with her partner, Marion Morgan, a choreographer and screenwriter. There are allegations suggesting that she also had romantic involvements with notable women such as Joan Crawford, Ala Nazimova, Billy Burke, and Ona Munson. Number 1. Barbara Stanwyck Stanwyck enjoyed a remarkable six-decade career on stage, film, and television. Renowned directors like Frank Capra, Cecil B. DeMille, and Fritz Lang held her in high regard. Stanwyck began her journey as a Ziegfeld girl in the early 1920s and later made a successful transition to film with her role in Frank Capra's 1930 talkie, Ladies of Leisure. Throughout her career, she starred in 85 films and numerous television shows. Despite her two marriages to Frank Fay and Robert Taylor, Stanwyck's personal life remained private. While there is significant evidence suggesting her preference for women, notably her close relationship with her publicist, Helen Ferguson, it cannot be definitively confirmed. Regardless, Stanwyck's on and off screen presence has made her an icon. And that concludes our journey through the scandalous and intriguing love affairs of some of classic Hollywood's most daring divas. Remember, behind the headlines and rumors, they were talented actresses who left an indelible mark on the silver screen. Their contributions to cinema cannot be overshadowed by their personal lives. All right, that's it for today. Thanks for watching. See you in the next video.